Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Hey folks, it's Susan at the Rock Shop at 311 Broadway Historic, downtown Paducah. Positive energy, it works. It is time for your angel message. So today I'm using Doreen Virtue's Archangel Oracle cards. Love this deck. And I've already cleared and shuffled. And I'm just asking the divine to work through me to get the message that you need to hear right here, right now. Let's pick one for your hopes for this week, one for your fears this week, and one for the reality of the situation. Your hopes. Hello from heaven. I love this one. Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Oh, I love that. Let's see what the other ones say, and then we'll come back, okay? Beloved one, this is your fear. Archangel Chamael, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. You know, it's interesting. Today happens to be a Valentine's Day in 2023. So I know a lot of people, uh, a lot of people are in loving relationships, but there are a lot of people who aren't. So Archangel Chamael is saying, I'm helping you. I'm helping you today and every day with your spiritual soulmate relationship. And sometimes that relationship is with yourself first. But we'll come back to that one too. So then the reality of the situation is compassion. Archangel Zadkiel, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Since it's Valentine's Day week, why don't we go ahead and talk about Love. You know, I know a lot of people are in relationships, like I said, and some people aren't. So your hopes and your fears and the reality. So you, your hopes are that you're, you're getting help from the divine. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of your worries and feel their loving blessings. You know, a lot of times grief will surface at times around holidays. We've lost someone we love, someone that's important to us, someone who was a big part of our life. We miss them. It's simple as that. And there's, you know, it's perfectly natural. So your hopes are that they're doing okay. And this is your validation. They're fine. Okay. They are giving you a warm, loving hug from heaven. Okay. Or spirit. Your fears, beloved one, Archangel Chamaya, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationships. You may feel like you're never going to have a soulmate, or maybe you've lost someone that you felt was a soulmate. People have a misconception about what a soulmate is. And soulmates are just that. They are people who come to work with you and they're there at a soul level. That's not always easy. A lot of people think, oh, I want to meet my soulmate and we'll live happily ever after. Well, I got some news for you, folks. Typically, soulmates are souls that we've contracted with while we were still in spirit to come to the earth plane to either learn a new lesson or resolve a lesson we didn't learn in our last lifetime with each other. And I have had lots of soulmates as do you, okay? Your family, they're all soulmates. Your bestie, that's a soulmate. Your love mates, those are soulmates. And sometimes those are very much like a roller coaster because they're here for big life lessons. So, you know, take the stars out of your eyes, folks. Soulmates are not necessarily all like, mm, ah. they're often very contentious relationships. So your fear is that I'm not going to find the right person or I'm not going to have the right relationship or I need to fix this relationship. And Archangel Chamael is giving you, you know, some hope that you're being helped by your guardian angels, by Archangel Chamael in particular. And I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate, okay? Take a deep breath. Your soulmate is either in your life now or will be in your life. And the reality, give, give yourself some compassion, okay? Archangel Zadkai also soften your heart respect to this situation, you know, and all of the people involved, including yourself. So if you're not in a relationship, soften your heart about it, okay? 
there's nothing wrong with you. And you are worthy of love. Soften your heart toward yourself. If you're in a relationship that's a little bit contentious right now, soften your heart. Soften your heart to yourself. Take care of yourself. If this isn't a healthy or a toxic relationship, then take the steps necessary to take care of yourself. And if that means changing the nature of the relationship, then have the courage to do that. Okay, Your loved ones are helping you with that, and your soulmate is out there for you. Okay, Soften your heart to yourself is sometimes the most difficult thing we can do when we're feeling lonely, when we're feeling unworthy. But the angels are with you, and they want to remind you that you are worthy. You're worthy for everything wonderful to come into your life. You are not alone. Okay? Now, if you're in a lonely place right now, then observe. Do some journaling about it. Why are you lonely? Only you can answer that question. Because just because you're alone doesn't necessarily make someone lonely. Love yourself first and love yourself enough to put yourself in a healthy situation so that you can attract your perfect soulmate because they are out there. Folks, I hope that that message resonates with you this week. This is Susan at The Rock Shop. And, you know, if you give us a thumbs up on the video, that's always appreciated. Subscribe to the channel because we put out regular messages. And, of course, namaste this week.